Hi there. Name's Gus Parking Board. Do you do you have time today? We found it. It's definitely the perfect camera. As you can tell by the I like how unsaturated it is right now out of camera and non-contrasty at all. All the details in the blacks, every strand of hair you're witnessing. That's for sure. The autofocus, so speedy. I'm not gonna lie to you, I've never hated a camera more immediately than this piece of shit, flying shit. Wow. Can you guess what this is? I've already given away a hint that I'm looking at the flip up screen over here. Guesses. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. I understand why camera companies don't want me to have their gear because I tell it like it is and I find the faults. I'm like a metal detector. When I see a penny, I leap, I pounce on that thing. Even though pennies were banned in Canada, I went to use one one time. I was like, oh, how much is that? 864? All right, here you go. You don't take pennies anymore? It's 865, you rounded it up. Well, that's, that's fine. <laughs> I lost money on the interaction and all my pennies are worthless. Thanks, Canada. I actually hate change. This is way more interesting than the camera. Change weighs you down. You go buy stuff, eh, I got all these toonies. When we came out with the toonie, a $2 coin, I got like seven pounds of change in my bag at all times. So have you guessed what this thing is? Do you know the company? And do you know the exact model? Wow. It gets there. It's not the camera's fault, I don't think. It's the lenses. We're filming on the Fuji X-T200 in some hope of like getting the X-T4's little brother and just reliving those moments that we all had together. We'll do a little vlog test after, but I can't tell you how disappointed and disgusted I am at this camera. They've simplified it. That screen is glorious. I will say you that much. I will say you that. That thing is fantastic. It's 15 feet long. The most resolution I've ever seen. I can see everything. It's so bright and vivid. That is the only good thing about this camera. They've dumbed it down so much where you can't tweak anything. There's no Eterna profile in here, there's no F-Log, and even within the profiles, you can't change anything. You can't change the saturation, the contrast, the sharpness, nothing. Shadows boosted, not in your life. This is what we get. This is all we got. We're on Astia Soft. I couldn't even tell if that was the best one. Let's switch it. Who even knows what will happen? Here's Pruvia. Well, you proved that you suck better. I just pressed the record button to stop it. You got to press this thing so hard. It doesn't even register. This is pro neg. We'll just leave it here for now. We're on the 18 mil F2 lens, the worst lens in Fuji's history, but I saw it there in the used box. I was like, Oh, can I have that one at the risk of ruining all of our lives? Listen to the autofocus sound of this lens. It gets worse. So let me just tell you the things I hate so far. Just that it's their entry level camera, so we gotta give them a little slack. But they removed so much. The Fuji assassins went in there. They had knives, they had swords in their belt. They had dust, some dust. Like a, a they went to the woods, a weird guy made them a dust and they sprinkled it inside the camera. The customizability just isn't there and all the dials are gone. The ISO and shutter dials put those in auto, that was so fun. No, I can't do it. I'm in aperture priority mode, like a pro. The tripod mount is right next to the battery door, which also houses the SD card. So anytime you want to get the files off, you got to take the mounting plate, unscrew it, break a fingernail. I did a quick teaser for this in my last video, and I just walked, I picked the camera up, walked from there to my window, and there was like a flash of brilliant white light the gods ascended upon us and they took one of the Fuji assassins up and upgraded him into like he gained a, a new black belt 
That was scary. As a studio camera, this just wouldn't work. The look of it is too cheap. And I don't know what happens in post when you lower saturation. I do it all the time, but like this is too saturated, so I lower it, but doesn't that probably destroy some shit? Probably, I do it, I don't care. But where this thing might shine is out in the streets. We got the 14 mil f2.8 lens, which should be pretty wide. It might get a slight tone of a background. And we got the cheap kit lens, which actually has a plastic cap that I think they found on a water bottle. They just put it on there. They were scrounging around. This is the worst lens I've ever felt. And the zoom thing, that feels like it's gonna break. I hate this lens. I'm gonna throw it to a cap, cap of cupola. I wanted the 10 to 24 because it has stabilization, super wide, plus the digital stabilization in here. It's got the gyroscope. So that might have been the ultimate thing, but they didn't have it at Henry's. So let's go take this thing on the street. We'll test all these lenses as vlogging lenses and see what the stabilization's like and the auto exposure stepping, what happens there? And does the auto white balance, because we customized it for in here, but will the auto go outside and please us? So let us go. How are you doing? Wow. So we're on the kit lens, no digital stabilization yet. That screen is glorious. So is it just typical Fuji shakiness? I imagine it's unusable, but it could be usable. Is there a stepping auto exposure? <laughs> Did it step? I like the smoothness. I think Sony has the smoothest that I've seen that a6400 oh the wind gods but we're immune to it all right let's put digital stab on see if it crops in much obviously it does all right I feel the crop we're on it digital stabilization is it Panasonic are we ruling a thirds hard that screen that's the best thing I've ever seen in my life you can see everything it's distracting I hate it remove it I don't want it Let's flip it back. So is there warpy shit? Is it odd? Is it good enough though? Like if it's just smooth and it's like, okay. On the X-T4, yeah, there was some weird stuff and there was warpy, but you didn't really pay attention. Only the freaks like us, me and you, were looking at the corners and looking at branches and shit. It's like, look over here, asshole. Why are you looking at that shit? Pulse. I understand the buildings and people walking by. That's interesting. But like branches, go watch a branch channel. So I figured maybe this lens, cause it's so tiny, the 15 to 45. So we're at 15, F3.25. Do we have any subject separation? You wanna see, see I can see all that, that's detail. But if it's slightly gone, I don't mind that. Are you following me? Is there any tone to be separated? I think we need to put on a Tony lens. That's not the one. It was the right pocket. Let's try the 18mm f2 just to see for the ultimate Tony. The box is there. Why are you lying to yourself? I can feel it. I can feel it in my tripod hand. I can feel the box struggling to just... What are you even trying to do here? You're not even thinking of doing it. Oh God, it's reverse tone. The worst problem that plagues us photographers. Oh God, someone send help. You're a lunatic, you're a lunatic, you're a lunatic. I've been here for like eight minutes. It finally, for no reason locked on the wind. The ultimate life hack. Is it glorious? Oh, it looks glorious. You just can't rely on the autofocus, though. <laughs> Is digital stabilization enough for it? I'm doubting it. 18 mil F22. Background slightly blurry, but not over the top blurry still see stuff back there the reason I picked this lens was because it's so light so this is very doable 
It's not quite idle cam lightness, but it's glorious looking. What we're trying to find out here is how the digital stabilization is behaving for the X-T4 in the future. We're trying to imagine slightly better with the IBIS, but is this doing something good? The shutter speed must be at like 2000, so that should help. Is it watchable? Is it Panasonic level? Should we compare it to the GoPro of life? Wow, not yet. We'll do that with the 14mm f2.8. Let's just breathe it in though. If I'm seeing the screen, and this is the best screen we've ever had, it looks to be the most cinematic thing anybody has ever released in the movie theater or a play. Even though plays aren't filmed, they could film them, but they won't. It's not allowed. It's a conspiracy. I narrowly avoided that one. I wonder what people must think <laughs> if they ever see me. What the hell have I done to the neighborhood? Before we switch to the 14mm f2.8, I just want to see why is the autofocus so bad? Do you see those shakes? It seems to be performing, but for some reason it just was not latching on to me in the beginning. Is it more reliable than we thought? Oh, I can feel those shakes. That's my bad. That's definitely my bad. Let me... Okay, let's, let's put all our effort in. How are you? It's smooth. Is it much wider? We're on the 14 mil, Tony 2.8. Is it as glorious or less glory? Is there less glory? <laughs> it's not the same if it's in normal speed. This lens is a little heavier for sure. It's noticeably heavier, but it's doable. It's still lighter than most things I've tried. Not lighter than the G85. What is? What is? Is the digital stay behaving any better with this lens? Wider angle, would that even matter? Probably not. I tell you, that 18mm f2. You'd have to worry about the autofocus, but if it behaved, it's light and you get fantastic tone. Wow. <laughs> Are you having a hard time guessing which one is which? <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. I had a life hack, like out of body experience on the GoPro. Right now, this is what it looks like straight out of camera. We're filming in native, which to this day, I have no idea what it even means, but it's like GoPro log, only on Mars. It's Mars log. You can add a Fuji LUT. Fuji F-Log to Eternal LUT, then you gotta tweak it. Oh, and the sun just came out and ruined the tweak. So you don't know if it was the sun or my tweak that made the difference, but did it handle it? Are you focused on me? You better be. So, Fuji X-T200 versus GoPro. Do you see the difference? Do you see it? Is it worth it? Is it worth bringing this bitch? This little thing fits in my pocket. This thing is light. I stepped on the sewer, almost died. Thank you for the metal welding builders of Canada for making a solid sewer system. Is it honestly worth 
the image quality upgrade to bring something like this around where you have to have it out at all times. That's what I'm noticing. Even with the idle cam, you can't really put it away. You have to just carry this thing. And people do look at it. Just be prepared for that. Especially the idle cam. People are like, what the hell is People are getting in accidents and shit. Who handles the sunlight better? Whenever that bright sun, the GoPro's always on minus something EV. Still, it ain't enough. And then you get into a dark alley, forget that. Doesn't balance it. See, I'm done with this. We put it in the pocket. We move on with our life. And it's like, okay, you barely notice it's there. It's a lump. It's definitely a lump. But what do you think? So far in the studio, I was not impressed. Out here, it kind of works. You don't want to be tweaking settings and shit. We got everything. If the Astia profile of life looks okay, if they just had a turn it in here, we wouldn't be talking right now. But we don't. I don't think I'd buy this one, but the X-T4, this is why we got this one, to just feel that love again. And if it's like on par somewhat, then we go for it. It doesn't look like you're handling that very well. Are you handling it? I'm not seeing the stepping auto exposure, but we'll see when I test it in the lab. It has an HDR mode. We're in it. It doesn't feel, this is the first time it's felt like it's clipping. It only clips in HDR. This is bad. And you can't have digital stabilization. What's the point of that mode? Is it still so stable it doesn't even matter? <laughs> I doubt it. Oh, the wind gods have blessed us again. So let me know your thoughts down below. I can't believe how windy it is and cold. Oh, I'm gonna go home. So, is it the best camera ever made? If you hear that wind, I swear to God. Alright, we're done. Thanks for watching. Thanks for buying the Camera Conspiracy t-shirt. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.